Bumps on a local campus. Two University of San Diego students have been diagnosed with the rare disease in recent weeks. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live at USD. And Steve, what's the campus doing to prevent a potential outbreak? The school has sent out an email advising of the two cases of mumps and suggesting that uh, undergraduate students and residential staff get vaccinations. Usually just one to three cases of mumps will be reported in a calendar year in San Diego County. We already have two here at the University of San Diego. One student living on campus, the other off. The two reported to be close associates. Many students may have been vaccinated, but not all. So the highly contagious disease could make the rounds. Um, I'm not super concerned about the mumps like outbreak. You can call it just because I know a lot of people are vaccinated, myself included. For those who aren't vaccinated, because I know that's been a recent fad, um, I don't know the situation for them, but I think it's just going to be something that blows over um, pretty quickly. <coughs> mumps is spread by coughing, sneezing, or close contact with someone who's infected. Symptoms include fever, headache, earache, and swollen jaws. There's usually just some pain involved, but it occasionally leads to more serious illness, such as meningitis and hearing loss. According to experts, the best prevention is the MMR vaccine, aimed at measles, mumps, and rubella. Two doses are usually given to children spread over a few years, with a booster sometimes suggested. County Health checked the numbers for us. Vaccination rates are holding steady at about 95% for our kindergartners. I'm not worried about it and probably have my shots. I'm not too concerned about it, no, because especially on college campuses, you always have outbreaks of some disease or another. Um, but I'm not too concerned about the mumps. And you're vaccinated, you're ready. Yeah, I am. And there were two cases in 2013, two cases in 2014, and now to this year. Live at USD, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.